All right, Brandon here, and right now I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough in how to actually integrate your Stripe account with your Kartra account so you can start to collect payments. Now, Kartra is a pretty fairly new software as of this video, so what you wanna do is when you log in, you're gonna get taken to your dashboard. From your dashboard inside of Kartra, you're gonna have a left-hand column over here with integrations. Once you're gonna click on integrations, it'll take you to a big drop-down where you can choose from quite a few different ones. For your Stripe account, you're going to click on the three dots and you're going to add new integration. Now the integration is gonna ask you, okay, for if we were gonna edit it, let's pretend like we're gonna add, it's gonna give you this, okay? This is what it's gonna bring up. It's gonna ask you for your secret key and your, publish your publishable key. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get that from inside of your Stripe account. You're going to then go over to the developer's option you're gonna click on API keys and you're going to get the publishable key and you're going to click on reveal live key token and get the secret key. Now those keys are going to create a separate number for you. So what we're gonna do here is if we look at the, uh, let's say edit integration and then we go to edit, it's gonna create this little code here. Now this code right here is gonna say payment gateway saved successfully. But what's gonna happen now is it's gonna give you this little uh, this little code right here, okay? And this is called a webhook. And what we need to do is attach this webhook back into Stripe now. So we're gonna copy this, and this is where a lot of people are missing out, okay? You're gonna copy this, but now you're gonna come back to, inside of Stripe, they now have it right underneath API keys. You're gonna take the, the webhooks, and you're gonna add that endpoint, and you're gonna then copy that specific code, right? So this code right here, we're gonna, Control copy, we're gonna paste that in there and you're gonna make it sure it says send all event types and you're gonna add endpoint. From that, it's gonna say live mode and you're gonna be off to the races. From that moment on, you're gonna be able to collect payments from Stripe. So go ahead and leave any comments below if you have any questions about the walkthrough and what we just went through and I'd be happy to answer them for you.